I know you're in there. I need to talk to Graham. He's not seeing anyone today. Well, I'm not leaving until I have seen him. Moira, to what do I owe the pleasure? We need to talk about Cain. Whatever marital dispute you have, I don't really see how I can help. Goodbye. He's in one of those moods. He might as well go home. I'm going nowhere. This isn't a marital dispute. Graham knows what this is about. It's all right, Priya. I'll deal with this. Okay, I'll uh, go and finish the paperwork then. No, go home. Take the rest of the day off. Fine. Does Kane even know you're here? Before you start spinning me another pack of lies, I ought to mention I know everything. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I know Joe's dead. I know that you disposed of the body. Now do you want to talk? Got my word. Your word? From what I hear, you were planning on killing Joe yourself. Cain saved you a job. You know nothing. You were the one person Joe trusted. And you betrayed him. And I will not be making the same mistake. I never wanted things to turn out the way they did. I tried everything to stop it. Of course you did. You're almost as good a liar as Joe was. We were all stupid enough to believe him when he said that he loved Debbie. That wasn't a lie. Oh, come on, drop the act, Graham. All he ever cared about was himself. He was a spoiled, selfish brat. He didn't even care about you. You're wrong. Joe was coming back for Debbie when Kane killed him. You are lying again. I can assure you I'm not. Joe couldn't leave Debbie behind. But then Kane found him and... How do you think Cain will feel when he finds out the truth? Is this another mind game? Did Kim Tate put you up to this? You came here for answers. And I'm offering you them. You don't have to take my word for it. Listen to John. Guess what? I'm not leaving. Sorry if that means you have to kill me, but I love Debbie. I mean, yeah. Do you think Debbie would ever forgive him? I suggest we keep this between us, for Cain's sake. Because you think that gives you power over both of us? I'm just telling it like it is. Maybe you're underestimating me and Cain. What's that supposed to mean? You think I'm going to hide this from him? We don't have secrets. Whatever this does to him, or to us, we will face it together. Because I won't let you or Kim hold this over us for you to use when you want. So I'm going to tell him everything. Back to soon. We need to talk. Again? I thought you said all you needed. Things have changed. So, how did Kane take it when you told him Joe was coming back for Debbie? You didn't tell him, did you? Somehow I knew you wouldn't. But I don't think that leaves us anything to discuss. Already told you I'm not going to drop Kane in it. That's not changed. It might when Kim turns up. I want you to destroy that recording. I'm sorry I can't do that. Joe was like a son to me. That was my last memory of him. I don't believe that's why you've kept it. It's because the power it gives you over Kane. Told you. Me and Kane are okay. I don't need power over him. 
Then promise me you'll never tell him why Joe's coming back. Maybe Debbie should know. Maybe it would bring a comfort that Joe really did love her. No. She can never know any of it. She'd never forgive Cain if she knew the truth. Father-daughter spat is the least of my worries. Oh, come on, Graham. You know what that would do to her. And the way I see it, you owe Cain. He's loose cannon. Where things stood, he would have told Debbie himself. He's through the worst of it. He won't say anything. I just need you to promise me you'll never tell Debbie about Joe coming back. Kane's secret safe with me. But I think it's best you all stay out of my way. <laughs> 